Hey YouTube, Double D here again. Like I promised, I'm making my video on how I do my weights. Uh, I'm going to go over real quick everything we're going to need to make it today. Uh, so pardon the uh, bumps, but I'm going to remove the camera from the tripod real quick. And uh, there we go. All right. Of course, you're going to need the vehicle you're making the weight for. So this is Titan's chassis. I'm going to put the weight right about here. So I'm going to make one that's going to be about the same width as this and all the way up to about right here. I want to leave these holes uncovered because that's where actually where my uh, bulkhead bolts on. So chassis is a little dirty from the last wreck, but uh, anyway, we're going to make the weight for there. So I got a measuring tool. I got my weights. I got a scraping tool because you have to scrape all this off of here, all this sticky back because these are um, two-sided tape on the weights there. So. Uh, they come this way, so you got to scrape that off so you don't get that into your metal. I brought the screwdriver out in case I need something a little harder. A scale to make sure you have your right weights. Something to mold with. I use Play-Doh. Yes, it is pink. Uh, it is one of the last two colors I have uh, left, and uh, so that's what I use to mold. A uh, pair of pliers, channel locks, or something to hold your your uh, hot, hot dish or your can. I use a, I think this was a... Uh, uh, well, it's a soup can. Oh, I think it was a ravioli, uh, uh, ravioli can. So, as you can see, I've used it before. It's all kind of dirty and nasty inside, but it's okay. Uh, that's what I'll be using today for that. And to provide my heat, I got myself a blowtorch, the striker for it, and I'm not sure why I grabbed the metal plate. What we're going to do, we're going to get rid of the metal plate. So, metal plate went back on the shelf. But that right there, folks, is pretty much everything you're going to need to make the weight uh, that I or to make a custom formed weight. Um, the weights I did, I or I'm using, I bought at uh, uh, Napa Auto Parts. They come in a box uh, that costs about forty dollars for the box. There is about uh, let me see, I got the box right here. Whoop! Sorry about that. Let's see. There is 15, 15, there was 15 pieces. Each piece is six ounces. So you're looking at uh, 30, uh, 30, do, 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 do. I don't know, 30 times. You guys do the math. I don't, uh, there, there's 15, 15, six ounce strips. So it's uh, 90 ounces, whatever 90 ounces it equates into for, uh, for uh, um, pounds so there was 90 ounces in the box and I've got just right here with what I have here here's a slug that I made before here's a slug that I made before uh, this is something I melted down just testing it I poured it on the concrete of the floor and it worked worked pretty good so uh, that was his practice I'll remelt this down this is about two ounces right here uh, so each one of these is a quarter ounce blood uh, quarter ounce block all these little blocks here uh, let's get this up closer so you can see that's quarter ounces they're little fat guys so um, yeah but right there is about 16 ounces so that is a pound just a little over maybe a little less I'll, I'll take it apart and uh, weigh it out but let me go ahead and prep this I'm gonna take uh, take all the sticky back off of this stuff get everything set up and then I will be right back. Well, I got going on this. I decided I better show you what I'm doing. Uh, here's the weights with it, all the, the sticky stuff cleaned off. That's the one strip. I cleaned it off already. So you can see that there's nothing really there. It's just the metal. All right. Now this is what I'm doing. See, there's the sticky back. You can kind of see it right there. And you can see I already started. So I've taken my scraping tool and I'm just getting underneath Underneath the glue, underneath the tape, and you can see I'm just peeling it back, nice and slow, or nice and easy. Make sure I keep this in, in this picture there. There we go. See, that, that's how easy that is. Just gotta get something like this, a little scraper. It's got a nice fine edge on it. A putty knife works too. That's what I used last night, but I couldn't find it, so I use this. And uh, also a side note: if you are using a table that's really shaky like this. Put things you don't want to fall off 
already on the floor like I took my propane tank and tightened put them down there on the floor so I didn't accidentally knock them off the table by wiggling everything around so that's that all right all the now we can see that uh, all of the the sticky tough is the sticky stuff is taken off of the weights back the camera out here a little bit focus focus all right now the next part is is I'm gonna be weighing them so I just went down to Harbor Freight got myself a little scale I use these I got four of them I use these for I got four little scales like this I use them to uh, set up my cars like my weights I'll put all four I'll put a scale under each tire and weigh it out and see where it has more weight and where I can adjust it by moving the shocks around so we'll turn it on set it to grams or excuse me set it to ounces it's already on grams set it to ounces now I do know that I have one I have two ounces in this little bar right here there's two ounces here because there's each one of these squares is a quarter ounce so I do have two ounces let's see if I can get this in the camera you see that it says 2.003 so that is two ounces I'll add this little one here it gives me 2.5 which is half an ounce there so that's two and a half ounces now I think I said this piece right here was two ounces it is it's 2.3363 is it once it settles down let's make sure it's teared out right Oop. we'll zero it out real quick again set it on there nicely this time instead of dropping it there we go 2.35 so it's just over two ounces which is fine so that's what I'm doing I just gonna make sure I have enough and I've got 12 ounces between the two long ones I've got two ounces there so that means that's 14 and I got two ounces there that's 16 ounces probably won't use that piece right there I'll have a half an ounce left over all right here we go we're gonna make the mold uh, for the weight I just take it out take my clay out or putty and I just kind of ball it up get it warmed up so it works fine right yes and I know it is pink so okay it's one of the last two colors I had like I said earlier so yeah my daughter wanted it but I told her I needed it so uh, yeah we're making my weights with it today all right so got to make sure I get a nice I want to make sure this is a nice smooth I want it warm, you want it warmed up so it, it adheres to itself better so you get it warmed up and unfortunately I've got cold hands so this might take a minute all right get it out roughly this roughly the length that you want the shape you want so that's what I kind of want my weight to look like right let's see let's do a test fit um, let's do a little test fit we're gonna go for a ride here so about like that I'm gonna make it a little bit longer a little bit narrower so we'll just work it for a minute and see if we can't get it where I want it you gotta remember this has got to be able to hold a pound of molten lead so you're gonna make sure you're gonna well it's gonna be a little bit wider and a little bit longer than what you need so right now I'm just kind of shaping it the way I want it and we'll uh, start moving the material around I want it to be about like that. And be careful not to go through your Play-Doh like I just did there. I just cut the bottom out. So we'll uh, have to start this one again. I might be able to repair it. Okay, because any holes that, that lead will escape. Right, you guys can't see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I got my shape that I want, right? I'm going to put it back on the table so I'm not cutting through it. 
and just moving moving it around all right we'll just smooth it out a little bit more all right that's a basic shape that's a basic mold this is this is rough it should work it's a little bit longer than my last weight but hopefully i'll have a better outcome with it so that's my weight my weight mold right there you can see it's almost like a coffin coffin shape so uh, let me get everything set it back up on the floor down there and we will uh, start hopefully melting some lead all right there's everything on the floor here um, get everything back into camera range here let's make sure I can see everything all right I got my lead weight down there I got my mold I got my torch the striker uh, the can and the pliers I used to melt it with and we'll have the screwdriver there on standby just in case I need to move some stuff around with it. So here how here's how we're gonna do this. Go ahead and start my I'm gonna go ahead and start my torch. If I can get it to go. Took a second. Okay. Get a little more heat out of it. All right, can we see that? Oh yeah, we can see that fine. All right, so I'm gonna take my, my can, take my lead weight. I'm just gonna put it over the top of the flame. And just lay that in there and hopefully it will start to melt. All right, now I've got all my weight melted. I've got a nice liquid lid. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it into here. You're just going to, you're going to hear a bunch of signaling. I'm going to move the camera a little bit and focus it. The, uh, it's not going to focus. All right, well, I'm going to stop it here and get this thing to focus and i'll be right back to pour okay now we got that focused in and i've still got the can over the heat uh, i'm gonna go ahead get this heated up real good one more time real quick and we're getting ready to pour so oops pardon my arm i'm just readjusting hands okay here we go we're gonna pour it here in a second Turn the that off. Here comes a bunch of molten lead. Be careful it is, it does splash. It is boiling the play-doh. As you can see, it's cooking the play-doh actually. So be very careful. This is why I usually have gloves on. It actually smells like it's cooking something in here. You smell like you're baking. And as it cools, and it didn't get quite as clean as pour as I wanted, but oops, that's still very hot. All right, here the outside is already starting to go. I'll have to spill it a little there. 
This is what happens. You see that? That's Plato stuck to the molten lid. So we'll do is we'll throw this. A little hot stuff. We'll throw that back in there. This will take a couple hours to cool, but uh, I'm gonna remelt some of that. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. My camera had a little bit of difficulty. Uh, it ran out of memory on the ca on the card, so I had to go back and delete a couple videos that I'd already taken off the camera, put on the computer, and just forgot to delete. So uh, with that, like I s you saw before, my camera ran out of memory that I had just poured it. I was talking about possibly having to remelt some of that but what I'm gonna do more likely is I'm gonna melt that other half ounce that I have and add it to this and then I'm gonna let it then I'm going to let it uh, cool probably for an hour hour and a half uh, I might put it in the freezer to help it cool but uh, we'll come back to that at the end I'll show you what I've done with it um, we're gonna have to trim some of the flashing off the edges and maybe hit it or beat it up with a hammer a little bit to get it back in a little bit more of the shape that I want um, and then we will we will see the final product. So uh, I'll be back uh, in a few minutes. Movie magic time in real time, probably about an hour and a half, two hours. So uh, we'll be back. All right, here, I just got a quick a quick thing here. Um, I jumped ahead a little bit. I didn't put it in the freezer. It only hit a bit about 10 minutes. I actually uh, remelted some of the, uh, the lead and put it back into it and kind of fixed the top of it. Uh, then I decided, well, let's, let's let it so it'll cool down quicker. I took it out of the Play-Doh. As you can see, the, that right there is the mold. That right there is the lead. Uh, it still has a coating of Play-Doh on it, but uh, as it cools, that'll, chip, that'll just chip off, so it won't stay on there. And as you can see, this is what it does to the Play-Doh. Oops, you can't really see very well. But it scorches the inside of the Play-Doh. This is rock hard. I can... And you can hear that, hopefully. But that's what it does to the Play-Doh when you do this. So the Play-Doh becomes useless after a while, after you do that. And you can see on there the black scorching right here. This is actually me, oops, this was actually me burning, or running the torch across the top of the, uh, the mold and actually melting all the lead on top and trying to get it a little more smooth. Uh, I'll show you that whenever I get it all done. All right, I'm back. Uh, I came out to check on it. It's cooled. Um, it. Uh, I was messing with it, tapping on it, and some of the, some of the stuff came off. But uh, uh, so that's the lead weight. As you can see on this side, maybe or maybe not, with the sunlight coming in the garage door here, wipe that off. That uh, I melted it, so I made this area smoother, which will make it easier for me to put my adhesive uh, tape on it to stick to the chassis, and it also uh, will help with keeping it flat on the chassis so it's fairly flat it's not too bad I'm gonna have to clean up the edges a little bit they're a little sharp and then uh, sorry about that I got cars going by the house and the garage doors open but this is how easy this stuff just breaks off there you go that's some play-doh got a couple bumps from the mold uh, let me get something to smack it with uh, I guess the handle of the screwdriver will work knock some of this stuff off. Play-Doh going everywhere. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to sweep the garage when I'm done with this. But anyway, that in a nutshell is my chat is my weight. Um, let's actually let's do this. Let's set the camera up on the table with where the car is or the chassis is and see how this fits. Oops. Turn that around. Back the camera just a little bit more. All right, let's see how it looks. Just a rough fit. I know I gotta clean it up a little bit, but that right there is pretty much what I wanted. Look at that. That weight fits right there almost perfectly. Can't do much better than that, I suppose. So, that's that. I gotta clean up this edge here. Gotta clean up the back a little bit. That's easy. Just smack it with a hammer. 
maybe. No, I might just end up shaving some of it off. As you can see, it's a little bit right there, a little wobbly right there. This side actually turned out pretty good. A little, a little trimming to do, but it'll stay out of the way of my steering servos, which is what I want. Oh, perfect, got lots of clearance. Right down the center of the chassis where I want it. This should be a lot, this should be a lot easier to uh, mount and to keep on the truck. And this time if it passes through here, it should go right through. Hopefully it'll go right through the chassis without busting it, or right through the front of this, the shock tower without busting anything up. That's all we got for now. Uh, I'll be back with my final thoughts here in a minute and probably a pictures or maybe a video with me holding the final product. There you go, folks. That's the finished weight. Uh, I had to remake it. I picked up the other one and it cracked in half. So this one, I made a different one. I made a new one. So just took the other one, melted it down and made an all new brand new one. So I was trying to make a, I can't really see it, but I was trying to, there's some scarring through the middle here. I was trying to make a, a, a slot for uh, the zip tie to go over through it. But all I'm doing is beating the crap out of it, making it look nasty. So, But that's my finished weight. Right there, and you can see how it looks on the chassis. Pretty much what I wanted. And yeah, looks good. This one's a little bit longer than I wanted, but that's okay. The screws will still fit. It can sit on top of the screws. I don't care. Um, I end up taking the weight off when I'm working on the front of the chassis anyway. But that's it for now that's the that's the weight all right guys now you know how i do it if you you, you can do it my way you can go figure out a different way whatever works for you also on a note my hands are covered in now lead i'm going to go in right now and straight away and wash my hands before i touch any food before i touch my face eat anything drink anything i'm going to get rid of this lead um it's on my hands but for right now that's the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next round.